Hey guys, and welcome back to Little Old Nefer with me, NG Paradox. Um, I'm just going to say, actually, I I'm really glad that we've actually done this series over here. I feel like for me personally, you know, you guys know I play this mod quite a lot, and it's just been a nice breath of fresh air to play somewhere very different, and somewhere that we're probably not going to play very often in the future, etc. So... I've really been enjoying this one, even just for that fact. Uh, but you got a flagship. There you go, little Edric Baratheon. Ah, uh, there you Flagships. The Formidable. That is a pretty cool name. It's, he's actually created himself. He didn't get it from anyone else. It's one that he built. So the Baratheons have built their own flagship. They've got Crab's Pincer. They've got the Formidable Ship. They're building up their own legacy right now, ever since, you know... Stefan Baratheon. Who would have thought? Who would have thought Stefan Baratheon would have led to this? Marshal Master Amber told me about his ideas. Adopt the ideas or it's not worth it. I'm a kind man, but I am authoritative. So if I, you know, think something, I'm going to tell them what for. But then again, I am kind, so maybe I don't have a strong view on this anyway. So yeah, it's only five gold. It's only five gold. He probably doesn't have a strong view on it anyway. It's probably just good, isn't it? And he just revoked the land from the Butterwells. The Lordship of Butterwell from those poor little Butterwells. Oh no. Why would why would Sir Tully do such a thing? Um, Harry's... Oh, we, we actually... Okay, an actual character they said has come to Nefer has actually come. We have Harry's Lorch. Another man from the Westerns, just like me. Just like me. His family, though. His wife, uh, Farwind, she did not come. What about the kids? The kids also are not here. They're in Glitterdale with the rest of the Lorch family. So how does he get into all of this? Obviously, there's a strong claim on the castle. That's actually a way for us to get back. If we could declare war. <laughs> if we could. So his brother was this guy. And so he's the uncle... Of the current lord of Glitterdell, Jonah Lorch, with a strong and skilled fighter, pretty good. So that would be a way to get back, but actually, in fact, it wouldn't be, would it? Because if I pushed his claim, that doesn't help me get back, that just helps him get back. So, really, it's completely useless at the end of the day, but it's cool to have him here. Uh, what's he actually good at? He's not really, he's a skilled fighter. I guess that's something, but. Really, that's not much. You know, if we have a quick look at our current year master at arms. He's got a very good martial. He's not a good fighter, though. Um, Poe do those got better martial. And he's a trained fighter. And he's a duelist. He might actually be better than him. Harry's being a skilled fighter that could be good for training kids. We do have some nephews, obviously. But with his du I wonder if duelist will affect it. Let's see what his one is. It's only an 8% there. That's not particularly great. We'll give him the, he is the best one here, though, so we'll just give him to continue to train troops for now. Uh, currently, we have 5,000 men. It's a, it's a pretty good amount of men. We can definitely hold our own, as we've seen before. Uh, Westland Wolf assert Tyrion's claim on Catswold and Lord Paramount Mace the Tenacious. Kevin Lannister versus Mace Tyrell. Uh, and Mace with the canter. And it's, things have not gone well for him, have they? Well, I mean, other things have gone well for him, but... It's not looking great for him in his older age, as he's gotten older. Then again, I mean, he's not that old, is he? Uh, Kevin is a bit depressed. That's that's really it for him. He's 52. Pretty good name has been a success. A very good. A plot to kill this man. Well, he is my rival. So, but I'm I'm too I'm kind. I'm kind. I can't do it. I'm sorry, my dear wife. If you wish to do such things, I will not stop you. I hate the man, but. I'm too kind. I could never get involved in such duplicity. We'll say that. How's the money? 3.7 gold is not too bad, you know? 3.8 gold, even better. It's it's getting better. Has been built. Trade post. Okay, S savages. Savages, savages. Barely even human. Now we sound the drums of war. He's uncooperative. He loses one intrigue. Damn you, nephew. I'm pleased to hear a period of uh, peace and shrewd management. Nefer is prospering. There we go. Could that mean more gold for our people? 
Well, when I say our people, I mean for, for me, of course. He just died of grayscale, so one of the guys over here. So it's split up a little bit. This guy is still over here. I wish I could colonize. We need a hundred more gold. In fact, if I wanted to get a loan, it's a hundred gold. We actually could try and take one in a few months, maybe. Um, if I, I need to get a bit more than exactly 500 gold, we need like, really we probably need like 600 just in case something goes wrong. We've got to pay for our men, etc. But yes, um, he would like to marry my half set. She's 22 now. And it might, it's not, he's not really got that many men. It's not worth it. If one comes along with lots of men, maybe it'd be worth it. But I don't know, you know, they've been attacking us. We don't really like them. They're savages. Elena, my daughter who's probably going to rule these lands because I'm not having a son right now. She wants an education. Now, for her, she's got good learning, good stewardship, and good diplomacy. So, she, she's not really a fighter or an intriguer, maybe. So, maybe something like duty for her. She does her duty. But that might be someone also who might be honorable, possibly. Uh, thrift, maybe. Uh, focusing on mathematics and inventions. Probably good for, like, stewardship or maybe learning. It sounds like this sort of people... Etiquette, no for diplomacy, but you'd think the courtiers and stuff would be for court. Hmm, this is going to be an important one for us, because whether we choose, it's going to be important. I'm, I'm thinking maybe etiquette or thrift. Um, humility. Focus on service and humility. No, she's going to be the lady of Nefer. We can't have her do such thing. Etiquette, etiquette. We're going to go for etiquette just because she will rule these lands. She needs to learn the courtly things. She's obviously not going to be a fighter. She needs to know how to control the courts, we'll say. You know, that's what she needs to learn. I've never, I was never very good at that myself. I was okay at it, but, you know. 5,400 men now. Almost 5,500. We got 400 gold now. How's the money looking? 3.8 still. It didn't really go up, did it, in the end? But that's still pretty good for us. We should get a bit more gold now. Hopefully, if we get, we'll say, 450, I'll take the loan. But then if I take a loan for 100 gold, it's going to be... It's going to take longer to get the next um, time we want to do it. So there's lots of good things and bad things about doing it. Uh, she just got two to her stewardship, though she does have gonorrhea. Uh, the nephew, Andros, is getting older now. Did he get her pregnant? Nope. She's 37. There's still time. There's still, still time. And he would like a marriage. He's got zero men. I think that's probably not the best thing. I mean... I would like to attack him. If we if we take that, we're one step away from Yt. I would rather this one. She has zero men as well, so she's pretty weak. So maybe it would just be best to go for that one. One, yeah, two. If we go for that one. Then again, if we go for that one, I guess we are taking one step closer this way, technically as well. But I'm also maybe opening myself up to more neighbors, like down here potentially, and over here. Yeah, maybe we'll just keep going down then. He revoked Sandship. Kalos was slain by the leader of the Iron Isles. Okay, obviously some reaving probably going on. Probably the Ironborn were reaving. He tried to defend his land. He was a good man. He was just a good man. He wanted to defend his people. Um, so far, this guy's still alive. His son's now six. There's still about ten years for a regency to happen. And a war's been declared on us. This gives us a chance maybe to get some money, depending on how much we can get. 15 gold. Yeah, it's it's never going to be much, is it? They keep marrying Valerians. What is with the marrying Valerians? We'll bring in some allies. How many men do you have? 1,007. I could defeat them myself, to be honest. But Okay, let's raise the men together. And we'll go fight. If they want to fight, we'll give them a fight. She launched a raid. Never. Ever since I've taken the mantle from my father, Tyros Redox never shies away from these barbarians. I may be a craven, but that doesn't mean I can't beat them on the battlefield. Just, I can't do it personally. He just, he just wouldn't fight them one-to-one. -one. He's a bit too scared of that. That'd be scary. And another one declared war, so there's a chance to get even more money. Oh, he's got 3,300 men, though. That's actually quite a few men. He does have Valerian, um, Valerian stuff, though. 36, ooh, we could... Yeah, we could beat these guys and use this money to help ourselves out. Nope. Um, this guy did not come to my core, but I, I, I do like we are getting some people appearing in our core. It's pretty cool. We have had a few interesting people. Um, she just arrived at my core. I don't know why she wasn't here already. You should have been here already. 
They have a few more years to get pregnant. Even if it doesn't happen, it still was fun. You're just having Jelona Waters here. We, we've seen her from the beginning. And we've got 6,000 men now. Now, when it comes to our commanders, we need more commanders probably. We need at least one more. We can go for Amber. So, Amber, you're going to join me. You've got 700 men. Maybe you should two should swap. There you go. We'll bring the Septon with us for the faith, of course. For the faith, he'll ride beside me. Really, with this, I can't really do much of my scholarly focus because we don't want to spend money. <laughs> so, I've not really done much of it. So, they're here. Yeah, they're here. So, we might as well start going towards them. They don't seem to be coming towards us. Unless they're taking a long time to move from here. If we go towards them, we can go get their capital, take them down, then move to the next one. We'll probably take care of both of them. Usurp the Lord of Rayonet. The Tully seem to be usurping a lot of titles. I don't know what's going on over there, but they are taking away a lot of titles. Chris, he's known as the Gentle. I mean, at least he's not killing them, but for some reason he has taken, yeah, a lot of titles. The High Lord of Blackwater Rush. Then again, Blackwater Rush is not normally a Tully place. Let's go a quick look. Okay, so the Tullys have a, a large area of the Crown Lands. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, he's really taken on a lot of areas of the Crown Lands. His father was uh, a strong. Mr. Boric strong. He has a son. Edma Tully is a strong boy. Uh, his brother, Duncan Strong. Okay, who's your wife? Oh. Okay, Aaron girl. Strong Aaron. That's where the boy got the strong from. He got it from the mother. Okay. Well, we'll keep going. Okay, we've got men here. We can go kill them. They've been killed there. Cersei's responding very well to stewardship. Isn't that her again? She is She's a good girl. Sadly, she has gonorrhea, even though she's only 14 years old. But she's a good girl. You know? Has been a success. She's a good girl. She's learning very well. 5%. Sadly, she will not rule or probably do anything. You and your senior commanders have gained a better understanding of military matters during the Battle of Afasat. Excellent. So there we go. We've done a bad job there. Me and my allies have united together. See, they're good people. They're good people. If we have a chance, we will try and take their lands, but they are good people for now. And so beating them down, we can now go capture this. And that gives 100%. Perfect. That's 15 gold, if I remember correctly. Oh, just 9 gold. Okay, great. Thanks. She has 582 gold. How come I cannot take all of that gold? That is insanity. That is rid I should be able to have all of that gold. Really. There's no prisoners. And a marriage has come along. 200 men. I'm going to decline. I say, not going to think about it for now. You never know. It may, may come to something in the future. Hopefully we can still get money from this other guy's army. They're about to be attacked up here. We are down here. I could probably assault this. Um, apparently not. Are we not attacking these guys? Oh, it's that one. Okay, sorry. For some reason, I got confused. They're all the way up here. Don't know why I thought we were attacking this one for a second there. Uh, King Edric of the Iron Throne has declared the Iron Throne Northern de Jour War over the north. So finally, the King Baratheon of the Iron Throne is going to take down the Starks in the north. Queen Ellen Stark. Ah, oh, Starks versus Baratheons. Her husband is a Dustin King, a Roger Dustin. Her son... Gerald, we saw this before, didn't we? Gerald Lannister. The Lannisters will take over. <laughs> no one really is fond of that. Now, who's going to help? Okay. All of the Lords of the South are going to help out. They want to all bring back the North into the Iron Throne. I mean... Who can blame them? Who can blame them? Everyone else has bent the knee. They need to bring the North back in. There is a king beyond the wall, though, as well. Who is that? King Rig Hard Soul. Okay, Hard Soul. Peasbury. Who's on this side? Perrin. And Austin Frey. Okay, Austin Frey. <clears throat> His father was Walder the Old, of course. Um, he was actually uh, one of the commanders. Okay, we'll go back. Nothing for me there, really. I could probably let my allies... You know what? Let's let our allies kill them. We'll head back. This will save me money because it cost me... And my wife is pregnant. Yes. Oh, that's good to see. We've been waiting for another child. At least a secure inheritance. I mean, I've got all my nieces and nephews and stuff. But, you know, it would be nice to get a boy. 
just to make sure it's secure. You know, when there's a girl, it can cause a bit of turmoil, just because that's the mechanics of the game. The mechanics of life, I guess, in the medieval society. Uh, but yes. We'll send our men back to save ourselves money, because we've been spending so much money just to raise our army. And we've already got 100%. There we go. So now to 450 gold. Now if we get 100 gold from the Iron Bank, I could definitely do a war to colonize one more place. Um, when I say one more place, I mean the only place we've done so far. You'll be the first one, Tyros. Tyros, you will be the expander. Oops. Just hit my drink. <laughs> Tyros, the expander. He'll be known as... He's only 29, actually. I, I keep thinking we've been in for quite a while. It's not actually been that long. Okay, delete these guys, save us some money, go, go, go. Okay, so I could borrow some money right now and do it, but then we have to pay back that money. So that'll probably cost me more money in the end. Is that really worth it? In the long run, it's probably not worth it. In the short term, it is. But do I really need the short term? No, no, I don't need anything in the short term. If it was one more place to touch ET, I would say yes, but it's not. So yeah, um, she's been a leal and able servant. You give her 50... I I just had this money. I just... She has been good, though, and I am kind. Hmm. I'm kind to them. Agreed. Because e even though his authority, authority... Authority doesn't mean he wouldn't be nice to his people. Um, it just means he, he has a decision. He'll speak his mind. Um, it's naturally authoritative. But if I'm kind, I'm going to... I want to give her money. So that, that's how I see it. We have to click. We have to give her something. So there we go. Oh, what the... Raiders, 2,000 men. So right here with about 4,000 men. We did have a boy, and his name is Parry Redox. We've named him after our loving father, Parry the Frog. I always forget he was called Parry the Frog as well. Oh dear. But we had the son. We have a son and daughter. I, 16 years. I'm um, face about 40, 46, 45. Oh, that's fine. Well, that's completely fine. See a house on the Iron Throne. Have five kids. Become exalted. He wants to be seen as a great man. That's what he wants. I could probably just raise my men. They should build a handle this, shouldn't they? But my son is sick, so we're going to have to be careful. Please save my son. Please. Can we? No, we didn't capture. I was hoping we might be able to capture someone. Get some gold coming in, but that was not what happened there. Um, how is he? She's not pregnant. She's still got a few years, guys. It's okay. <laughs> you never know. It seems as if whatever treatment Maester Timon administrated worked. Little Parry is much better. There we go. He's no longer sickly. Parry Redox is perfectly fine. A good, healthy boy. Just like his father. So wait for the money this time. If we are one place away, I will then try and push for that as quickly as possible. But yeah. Um, now I say, um, we're not necessarily going to go down to Yeti, but by getting closer to them, it will allow me to maybe make some marriages with people around here, make a claim. So if there's a war in Yeti, you know, like a, a mega war, whatever, we might be able to sneakily get a piece of land. So it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth it, even if, no if nothing may come of it. And it may actually be dangerous for me, but then again, being next to these guys... Is always going to be dangerous as it is, isn't it? So, I don't think we can get any less dangerous. So, that's my plan right now. Just like this. Azur Emperor has declared Yeti Ashabadi Vassalization War on Prince T of Ashabad. So, he's actually going to try and vassalize them. Now, he could do that against me, but that actually might be good if we were to be vassalized by the Emperor of Yeti. I can take it over from the inside, which would be kind of funny to then come back to Westeros as the Emperor of E.T. That that would be unexpected, I think. We got a great Sept in there. He could be the man to convert the people. We've already converted one place. Still got to convert Parry Landon. I think, so. Uh, maybe... Is that correct? Probably should be Parry's Landon, isn't it? There we go. There we go, Parry's Landon. Let's go look at how they do King's Landon. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's the same as that. Okay, perfect, there we go. So we've got King's Landon, we've got Parry's Landon. It's fine. Uh, they made peace, that doesn't bother me. 
your own subject. Sadly, not the place, but you, you started a good job already. We're at 460. We've almost got that 500. It's so close, I can not taste it, but almost imagine it happening. But yes, we're fine. How are the uh, nephews and stuff? They all look like her. Or, well, no, he looks like the father. But yes, so she's coming along nicely. In the end, he got a dutiful... He's a terrible... <laughs> he's terrible, Andros. Um, Cersei is going to be pretty good at diplomacy, and she has a diplomacy education, so she's going to turn out pretty good, potentially. Though her learning is only two, so she might not actually look that great. Actually, yeah, probably won't make a difference. Uh, Clarent Redox doesn't look great either. God, the Maester, you've been so bad. You've not been good at all, have you? But yeah. Okay. Well, according to Justice Lanella, the small folk of Paris Landing have started a delightful tradition where several villages meet up and dance. 40 gold, though. I'm sorry, I can't right now. Normally he would, but Tyros right now, he knows he's so close to the money. It's bad timing. But someone was assassinated. Kristen Tully was assassinated, and we did say he's been taking away a lot of land. Has he? been making a few enemies. Has he been upsetting a few lords by taking away that land? Definitely a possibility. And so his young son, at three years old, Lord Paramount Edmer is the new Lord Paramount of the Trident. Uh, Sir Mohor Cox is his regent. And the heir would be Lefine Tully, who's married. The Lannisters are really getting around, aren't they? Kevin Lannister. He seems to have got the marriages out pretty well. He's doing some smart ideas. That's not good for me. We don't want Lannisters to be powerful. The Lannisters take over the North, take over the Riverlands, and have the Westerlands. We're going to have to take them all down. That's a lot of Lannisters to take down. We don't want them with more power. See, as the Doxes were, you know, destroyed, and us, we've been trapped over here. As we've been trapped over here, the Lannisters, even though Tywin's dead... They've been growing in power. They're actually doing better, maybe. They're doing very well. They're expanding their power base. We cannot allow us to stand. We've got to get back as quickly as possible. Quickly as possible. Okay, and everyone just... 490 is what was so close. Okay, this time it's him. I'm going to bring... I'm actually not going to raise my men. I'm going to help my... If they come over, we will. But if... They don't, because my allies might get there first. They can save me money. And then we'll have enough for 500. And we could potentially get 39 gold, so that would be even better. If they do appear, though, I will raise our men. But until then, I want to save our money, because it keeps costing us money going to fight these people. Uh, Alighieri the Poet was sent to the war. Underneath Mr. Peasbury. 39 years old, Mr. Peasbury is. Pretty, pretty young Lord Commander right in the moment. There we go, 500 gold. You know what, maybe I should just declare war and raise my men. That's actually probably a good idea. She's got zero men, she has nothing there. We've got some raiders, but it's only 55. I could go take this then. Colonization, there we go. It ha has to be this way, yeah? It has to be, because then we're one step away. We'll probably go for that one. I could go for this, but uh, just go for this one. It'll be fine. We'll kind of be just going down here. I like that. There we go. Let's do it then. Colonization will be one step away from Yeet either. That could, that could end up being bad or good, but this is any strategy I can think of, you know, until we can maybe take uh, the lands of my wife's family at some point. If we ever do go for that, but yeah. Let's do it then, and we'll, oh, we'll have two gold. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Oh, no, because do you have to pay the money after, or does the money go out? To begin with. I don't remember. Wait, does the money go out straight away? If you win this war... No, no, no. Blah, 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 blah. When we declare the war, it says nothing. Okay. Hmm. Maybe I should wait... No, let's, let's, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see. It says you can do it when you have 500 gold. Let's do it. Okay, 500... Yeah, I'm assuming when you win, the 500 gold will be taken out. But if, if we do this... We're probably not going to have 500 gold. That's my concern. I could just borrow some money. I'll just borrow the money then. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I've had enough then. So they're going back. Probably my allies are going to go attack them. That's why. So we'll head down this way. Um, children, Scalaria Redox. What does she need? 
She needs something. She hates this. She does like this. She likes two for that, but we can't do that. So she's going to go for injury. She likes that, apparently. And the brother Simon Redox. He is going to go with... He doesn't like this. He does like this. He doesn't doesn't like that. Same with that one. So Intrigue is one, and Intrigue is his best one. So there you go. And they did get their education. She actually got a Graf Diplomat, so that's not too bad. 17 Diplomacy there for Cersei. And for Clarent, he actually got Flamboyant Schema. He uh, got an okay Diplomacy there as well. Craven. Um, yeah. Just, yeah. Okay. It's a bit of a, a mix when it comes to them. Uh, Celestial. We haven't really got anyone who could be a good Celestial. I'm going to for Cl uh, Clarent has good Diplomacy, but bad Stewardship. Now, Stewardship is the main thing, but Diplomacy can be good as well. But we'll go for Andros because he is the oldest. We'll go for him anyway then. There you go. Um, oversee the realm. Just go for that. Bring your men together and do this as quickly as possible. Delete these men. My should prove a good name has been a success. There we go. She's all my sister always su is successful. She never fails, to be honest. So we can't say about that. Where's my allies? Have they come yet? My allies are taking their sweet time to get here. Still nine years old, so still young. And four days. So assault there, we got a hundred percent. Now these guys are gonna go down there first. So they're gonna go to our capital. We'll go chase them down and kill them. I think I need to kill those guys first. I'm worried that we need 500 gold first. So we're going to get 500 gold first. So I'm going to defeat this guy first. So we're going to go attack his men. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried if we don't have the 500 gold when we win, it could be bad. So I'm going to go do that. I'm going to chase them down. They're going to stop. We're going to go after them. There we go. I'm a little bit... We are running out of money quickly, though. Come on. 32%. Okay, my ally is there. They're about to get there. I'm going to delete my men. So that way, you know, if they take the capital, we should have 100% more score. There we go. Perfect. Off a piece. What money do I get? 39 gold. There we go. We have enough gold. Just in case. I don't know. I've not really done this before. Because they've changed the hordes a lot over the years. And I didn't... I've not played as Dothraki for a long time. I've never really played as these guys. So let's enforce the demands. You decree that a new colony shall be established in the name of House Redox. All that's needed is the final order. See, see, I did need the gold. Yep, definitely. Well, I guess I could have gotten the minus money, but yeah. Establish the castle of the Bleeding Shore. Gains that. We lose 500 gold. It becomes a colony. So you got to wait for the colony to obviously grow and stuff just like normal. But look at that lovely name. That, oh, yeah, it just looks so nice. Just actually, we've actually grown. <laughs> that just feels so nice. We have a wrong tile home. We have a castle here. Hmm, which one's the wrong type of holding? The castle of the bleeding shore. Okay. Fine, I will... I guess I'll give it to some family, actually. We have lots of family. I can give it to one of my nephews. Um, yeah, we could give it to Clarent Redox, I guess. We could give that to him. Yeah, it's, a, it's a little place for them to live in. We'll give that to him. Plus, I'm over my number anyway, so we probably should give that to someone. Um, castle. Yeah, it's Castle, isn't it? The Castle's the one, yeah. We'll give him that, then. Huh. I actually can't give it to him. Which is interesting. Hmm. Maybe I'm not allowed to give that away. I could give away the fields. But we'll see how this goes, then. Okay, well, our domain's too big. We will, we will try and start in a second. See what happens there with this. Okay, that did disappear. Okay. So it did disappear in the end. It's now okay, there we go. It's gone to normal now. I thought there was something a bit off about that. We are one place over. I think we should get the fields away. I'll keep Parry's landing, keep the capital, but we'll give away the fields. And we should probably give that to one of my family. Now I would obviously give it to Andros, but we don't know what's gonna go on with his current wife. Something could happen with them. So I think we should give it to Clarent Redox. There we go. We're going to give him the Fields of Nefer. Congratulations, Clarent. Our family gets more land. We can trust our family. I could have maybe given it to someone else. You know, we could have given it to someone else potentially, but we'll just leave it like that for now. Uh, Septon is needed. Oh, I, got, I lost the really good Septon. That's a shame. That's actually a big shame, but we'll have to, we'll have to make do with it. We'll have to make do with it. I shall probably end this part here. 
Um, but yes, guys, thanks so much for joining us. We're going to end this part here. <sighs> Look at this. We've grown. We've actually done something. And one more, guys. One more. And we'll be next to Yee T. So I should probably start thinking about getting some marriages. Maybe to, you know, a current prince or something nearby. Um, there's this one here. That is actually controlled by the emperor himself. So maybe I should try and get a claim on this. And, you know, get like a, a claim from my uh, advisor. Maybe this one I should actually try to marry into for a claim potentially. And a potential ally. The Tsao family. Mm, I do like the Tsao family. Let's have a quick look at our... Uh, a court. Make sure there's no one that I haven't forgot about. Oh, Corellan. Yeah, we got her there. Anyone else that I maybe haven't noticed? Of course, we've still got Lorch there as well. Just seeing if anything else hasn't popped. Okay, it seems like, yeah, I know everyone. Okay, that's fine then, guys. See you next time. Have a good one, and goodbye.